Welcome all, it's Russ. I wanted to just post this little video about how we're going to be using Examity in this semester. Uh, Examity is a service that does online proctoring of exams. So the idea is that we want to do exams that are more or less like what uh, classroom exams would be, where you've got a piece of paper and you're writing out your things by hand there. Um, but we need some sort of a proctoring mechanism because otherwise some people would cheat. And so basically what's going to happen here is that you're going to be using your, um, you're going to be using a webcam and there will be a proctor who's somebody somewhere in the world who's going to be watching the webcam and also watching your screen and making sure that you're not going out on Google th or, you know, picking up your phone and looking at your, looking at things on your phone, that sort of a thing. Um, so what we're going to do is that will allow us to, um, have a more or less ordinary test taking environment, but you're gonna be able to do it at home or uh, something like that. Okay, so how are you going to access Examity? Uh, let me go over here to D2L, make sure I'm marked, I'm set up as the student side of things. All right, so you should be able to see this. To go to Examity, you're gonna do UA Tools and go to Examity. Now, uh, I have provided a couple, well, I shouldn't say I've provided, I will be passing on to you a couple of PDFs that were provided to me by uh, the U of A that are basically summarizing the things you need to know. So this is, this is kind of the detailed description of what Examity is. It's going to show you how you can get to it, how you can get yourself set up, and so on. Uh, there's... Uh, the details are all in this PDF. However, I want to give you a quick overview. You're going to need to first go in and create a profile. I want you to do that real soon now uh, because part of creating a profile is making sure that you've got a computer that's compatible, you've got enough internet bandwidth, that sort of a thing. Uh, this is basically testing, making sure that you're ready to use Examity. Uh, I've already posted all three of the exams. Not, not the files of the exams, but the window for the, the exams. You're going to go in through Examity and you're going to set up a appointment. Basically, what's going to happen here is that there's a 48-hour window. I was going to be 24, but the university has asked me to expand it to 48. There'll be a 48-hour window where you can take the exam anywhere in that window. So if you happen to be halfway across the world, no problem. You could take it in a time zone that works for you. But when you do that, then you will have a one hour window based on your appointment to actually take the exam. So you have to set this appointment up ahead of time in order to make sure that there's a proctor who's available who can meet with you online to do your exam when you want to do it. When you actually log in, there's a whole authentication process. You know, They look at you, they compare it to your profile picture, you show them your student ID, that sort of stuff that basically verifies that it's actually you taking your exam. When they've verified all that, then they will give you the link to actually go access the exam. I'm going to make all my exams as PDFs. So you'll have up here on your computer in front of you, you will have the exam. And then on scratch paper down below, you will be writing out all your answers. If you have a printer, it is uh, acceptable and in fact would make my life a lot easier if you printed the exam out and then wrote on the exam. Uh, but I'm not expecting most people to do that. Most people will be writing on scratch paper. When you're done with the exam, you will scan it all in and you will upload it to Gradescope. And then after the 48 hour window has passed, then um, the, the TAs and I will go and we will grade all of the exams. So other things that I can show you. Well, in addition to this uh, multi-page document that's got all the details about how you use Examity, they also have a quick start uh, document here that's very useful for you. It's got just the shortest things that you need to know about. I'll be posting both of those to Piazza. In addition, we have um, uh, the InTech website.
So in tech, so this is in tech.arizona.edu. Um, actually, let me go back to the main site. This is actually in tech.arizona.edu. These are basically the people on campus who are supporting the various learning tools that you've seen, play pause it, examine and such. Um, so they've got uh, uh, various links here. The, the key one you're going to use for this is you're going to go into Examity. And um, they have some frequently asked questions with some additional links, stuff, stuff like that. There is a knowledge base where you can get where you can look up either help files or bug fixes, knowledge dash base. And so it's it's supporting all the tools. So I tell it I want Examity and limit myself to things that students will need. And so they'll have questions about how can you set up your exam, all that sort of stuff. If that's useful to you, you're welcome to poke around in there. So anyway, um, in my experience, Examity has generally worked pretty well. I don't get a heck of a lot of complaints about it not functioning. But you do have to get online and make sure that your computer is compatible as, excuse me, as soon as you can so that if you've got some sort of an issue, you can fix it before the exam comes up. All right, so I hope this is useful. Make sure you read through the PDFs that I'm going to post uh, to get the more detailed information. Get yourself set up, and I'll be seeing you around. Bye-bye.